welcome to the Character Guide for Fong, where you'll learn everything you need to know about the cunning trickster in Street Fighter V. Fong's Crouching Light Punch and Standing Light Punch are both quick attacks that can lick into his other light normals for a small amount of damage. These don't have much combo potential, but outreach most other light attacks in the game. Crouching Medium Punch is good in mid-range, as it moves you forward to help you punish badly spaced attacks by your opponent. Standing Medium Punch doesn't reach as far, but hits twice and is good at keeping the opponent grounded. Both Crouching and Stand Medium Punch are special cancelable. His Crouching Heavy Punch is one of the best anti-airs in the game. It makes it tough for opponents to cross you up, and it also hits twice, giving you two chances to hit the opponent. Standing Heavy Punch will give you Crush Counter on Counter Hit, and will be your go-to normal when looking for max damage. And Jumping Heavy Punch will be your go-to jump and attack. Crouching Light Kick hits low and has long reach, but it has minimal combo potential. Standing Light Kick has great reach, and is great when just outside the opponent's throw range. Use this to create space when the opponent is getting too close. Crouching Medium Kick has a couple uses. It can be used as an anti-air in certain situations, and has some combo potential, giving you pressure up close. Standing Medium Kick can link from your Standing Light Punch, and is a great anti-air when opponents are jumping in from far distances and Jump Medium Kick can be used as an instant overhead when close to the opponent. Crouching Heavy Kick has long reach and knocks the opponent down on hit. Make sure you land a hit though, as it's unsafe on block. Standing Heavy Kick is his main pressure tool up close. This can link into a Stand Medium Kick or Crouching Medium Punch for big damage. And Jumping Heavy Kick will be your go-to cross-up attack. Landing his front throw will throw the opponent full screen giving you some space to start throwing out poison attacks. His back throw will leave your opponent right next to you, letting you go for another throw or continuing the pressure with a stand heavy kick. Fong ducks underneath fireballs and high attacks. Pressing any kick button will cancel the ducking action and do a kick that moves you closer to the opponent. This is a long-reaching, double-hitting attack. Using this can help pressure the opponent, even if they use an armored attack. Fong throws poison balls into the air to control space. Each version tosses them at different angles, with the EX version covering a majority of the screen. Using the right versions at the correct times are crucial in a zoning game. Fong lunges at the opponent. This will be your primary combo ender. This can also absorb projectiles and will knock the opponent back on hit, with the EX version starting up faster. Fong puts a poison carpet on the ground. The light version can be used to create safe pressure, with the medium, heavy, and EX versions creating a temporary carpet on the ground that absorb projectiles. On hit, the EX version will put the opponent up in a juggle state. Fong slides across the screen and can slide underneath projectiles and high hitting attacks. This can also move you through the opponent onto the other side. The EX version is hit invincible, which can help you get out of a corner situation. Fong flies up in the air to drop poison balls on his opponent. This attack is invincible on startup, so it can be used in dire spots to get the opponent off you. Cancel this from your special attacks to go for big damage. This also poisons the opponent and leaves you right next to them, where you can go for a mix-up to rack up more damage. This V skill is different from your normal projectiles, as it has no hit or block stun and doesn't collide with anything other than your opponent. On contact, it deals a small amount of poison damage. Since it has no hit or block stun, the opponent can walk right through it, but will hit even when your opponent is blocking. Fong creates a small invisible poison cloud around him, poisoning any opponent in his radius. If you can manage to activate this during a combo, two minutes is more than enough time to score a KO. 
wiggle around the backside of your opponent to create some space. Using this can help you get out of a corner or a pressure situation. Now that we got specials and normals out of the way, it's time to do some combos. Here's a few to help get you started. Fong is a zoning character at heart. With confusing projectiles and a projectile nullifier with his poison carpet attack, he can keep opponents away. He also has two of the best anti-airs in the game, crouch heavy punch and stand medium kick to anti-air at multiple distances. With your poison attacks, damage can rack up fast if your opponent isn't careful. His one flaw is the ability to finish off your opponent, since chipping can't finish the round, so make good use of his jumping medium kick instant overhead. Determining which zoning tool to use in certain situations can be hard to master, but is the key to victory with Fong. Fong has the best projectile game in Street Fighter V, with his double projectiles and poison carpet putting him above the rest. At mid-range he has good pokes with stand medium punch, crouch medium punch, and down forward heavy punch. Up close he has a hard time opening up opponents, as all of his combos push the opponent away. In between crouching heavy punch and standing medium kick, he can cover any angle the opponent jumps in at. Now it's time for a quick recap. Fong has good anti-air attacks, projectiles covering large parts of the screen, and his V-scale creates unavoidable damage. Although he has a hard time dealing with pressure, and has a tough time finishing off opponents, with also his projectile game being hard to master. Thanks for watching, and remember, click character select at the bottom to check out the rest of the cast.